you're not using the chairs, you don't need them both down. What did you do to make this small, tight kitchen feel a little larger than it actually yeah. is? So it's all maximum storage. Um, I built drawers that roll out. I can show you this one. When I redid the bathroom, I had to find a really tiny sink. You might say New York City apartment renters Maxwell and Mary Helen share an appreciation of small spaces. Everything is hanging um, and it's categorized. This is olive oil and dish soap, things like that. This is like cleaning supplies. Mary Helen lives in a 90 square foot apartment. Before you complain about your lack of closet space, she lives without one. These are what we call face outs. Um, usually clothes are done sort of shoulder out. Um, but as you can see, this takes up over a foot of space, whereas these are only eight inches. So I'm saving a good four inches. And so the whole room was like- a Maxwell room. used to live in this 250 square foot apartment. You can have whatever you want as long as you're willing to get rid of one thing. Both are part of a growing movement of apartment dwellers and homeowners who deliberately desire to live in less. It forces you to keep what you really love and it, you can't really keep the stuff that you don't love. Making cramped quarters cozy takes ingenuity. I keep my empty Tupperware containers in the refrigerator. Another trick to making a small space seem larger than it is, remove the doors, instead replace them with a fabric that might even be sound reducing. If you can learn how to get rid of all of these unnecessary things that we accumulate, you sort of start to do the same thing in your life and like maybe not put up with like, oh, this dumb friend who always causes drama or like you learn how to eliminate unnecessary things in other aspects of your life, which is awesome. Here at the Brooklyn Navy Yard, they're working on what could be the future of New York City rental apartments known as micro-apartments. <laughs> Under construction now, these 55 units will be New York City's first micro-apartment complex. Each unit will be about 260 to 360 square feet. New York City suspended zoning codes to pave the way for this pilot project. The finished units will be assembled here on this steel beam foundation in Kipps Bay. This particular unit, unit is only 350 square feet. All 350 square feet are usable. You don't have weird corners where you can't put something. Once each unit is complete, it's sealed and stored out here. They're hoping by this time next year, people will be living in them. We realized there was really a, a demand out there. People wanting to live simpler and smaller. Gregory Paul Johnson is the president of the Small House Society a group that connects would-be homeowners with the builders of small homes like these, many of them portable. He says the micro movement is growing, not just for affordability in high rent cities, but because of environmental and philosophical reasons. It causes people to really evaluate their life and look at what is a priority, you know, because you can't keep everything. Living in small spaces may just be the next big idea. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.